why we've been gone for so long. We you know, had to get some stuff together. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah, we're, back. And we're not leaving. So we're back. Yeah. So. so we're just going to jump right in. We have a good topic. We want to talk about ancestry DNA. Yes. Just DNA in general. Yeah. Genetics, background, where you come from, all that good stuff. Right. So we both did ancestry DNA. Yes. Um, to kind of get a better idea of who we were, where we were from, yes. uh, what country we originated from, and what states we kind of like navigated from and ended up in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how was your experience? Well, my experience, that took me three times. Really? Three times. Three seems to be the number. Mm -hmm. It took me three times. Um, I guess I didn't put enough saliva in the test tube, so they were sending me an alert telling me that they didn't have enough to work with, so they were sending me back a kid to mm -hmm. try again. Okay, so how, because people that are listening mm -hmm. may want to know how it works. So basically, you get a test online. Yes, ancestry.com. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually on sale. It seems like every holiday it's on sale. Um, or it's like $99 at the most. Yeah. Um, they send you out a kit. Um, they have one, two, three instructions on what to do. They send you a test tube. You spit your saliva into the test tube. You shake it up. Um, put it back into the Ziploc bag, put it back into the prepaid box that they sent you to mail it. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just go to the app or the website, if you choose, and put in your numbers and letters that it give you that's associated with your um, box and kit and activate your account and wait for your results to show. Yeah, and then it tracks it. So yeah. it gives you an update of like when they're gonna have your test results ready. Yes and all of that great stuff. Yes. So I know my test results took between like four to six weeks. Yeah. And sometimes they say it could be a little bit longer, you know, two or three months, but I think that mine came back fast. Yours came back pretty fast. Yeah, too, it's right? like a long time, like yeah. four weeks, yeah. four weeks. But when we did it, we wasn't in a pandemic, so the mail wasn't running slow and they were able to get it processed mm -hmm. and push it through. So yeah. yeah, true. So when you got your results, yes. how did you feel? Like, were you surprised? Surprise? Not really surprised. Um, more so of curious. Mm -hmm. I'll use that word. I say okay. curious. Okay. So I just want to know where I come from. Like trying to find certain people and you know meeting new people yeah. that I didn't yeah. know. So yeah. wait. So where did you come from? Well, it gives me your percentage of. It breaks down like your whole ethnicity. Mm -hmm. So mine is from Congo, Western Bantu, which was like forty six percent, which was the highest. So I'm like completely flat. Um, Nigeria was 25%, Scotland was 9%, and Mali was 6%. Ooh, okay. So I am 40% Nigeria yes. and 28% Cameroon, Congo, okay? And then 10% England, Northwest Europe, and uh, a whole bunch of little 1%, 2%, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but 1% Scotland. Yeah. Nice, right? Cool. So, uh, what about like statewide? So, okay, Africa is probably you know definitely where we originated, but then right, right, right. got on the boat. Where did you end up when you came to the states? Well, my family actually, because um, I ended up in DC. That's where I was born. Well, but but my family was um, mostly North Carolina. Mm. Yeah, North Carolina. Okay, um, I had a mix on mine. I had Kentucky, wow. Tennessee, wow. Georgia, Alabama, and wow. Mississippi. So the southern states. Maybe that's why I like soul food so much. I, I like soul food. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so anything else that like surprised you or fascinated you with your, like your results? Um, more so me just trying to find out where my family originated from. Mm -hmm. So when they said it was forty six percent of the Congo, I was like, Oh, okay, got it. So now right. I know. Mm. Now I know. It explains yes. the, the roots on top of the head and everything. Right. Else. <laughs> So I, you know, of course, I'm adopted, so there was a lot of people, a lot of distant cousins yeah. that I had no idea. I've never seen these people before in my life. So a um, uh, cool thing is, since it's been, what, a little over a year of me doing the test, hmm. um, yeah, it has been. I have new cousins yes. that I'm starting to get to know. Um, one of my cousins actually helped me find my biological family members, which was cool. Yeah. And then I had a really, really close match um, that was like a first cousin. Yeah. Did you have any like super close matches? Um, my highest number, and we'll talk about number in a second, um, was like 153. Okay. Um, 
So that was like the highest. Oh, that was a cousin. And he was a cousin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also on Ancestry, like the number we're talking about, yes. it's like this CM, and um, we're not no DNA experts, no. so we don't know how to really explain <laughs> it to y'all. But the higher the number is, the closer relationship. So let's say you have someone that's 2,000 and something something CMs. That's probably like a parent, maybe a sibling, a thousand and something seems maybe a grandparent or an aunt or something like that. So when you go down to the low, low numbers, those are like those distant cousins. Yeah. But it still helps you piece together yeah. like your family tree yeah, yeah. where you came from. So that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like as far as like the numbers, um, um, I had reached out to him, but he didn't respond. And that's another thing as well, guys. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that too. Trust me. It took him a long time to respond, so I would always, like, check and check, and he would never, like, respond. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he was, like, trying to gather information before he came back, so we're not, like, talking back and yeah, forth, back and forth, maybe. back and forth. So, I might as well just get into my story. So, then when he finally responded, he was like, you know, because um, the last name is, is of my father's side, and that's mm -hmm. who I was originally looking for, right. to co reconnect with my father's side. Because I haven't seen him since I was 12. I'm 37 now. So... He reached back out. He was like, yeah, I think my sister may know who you're talking about. So they started adding me on Facebook. That's how I knew they were talking on mm -hmm. their end. So I was accepting it. You know, usually I don't. So she hit me up. She was like, I think I know who you're talking about. There's like three people with your father's name. I'm not going to say his name just out of privacy. Mm -hmm. But it's like three people with their father's name. And she's like, we're going to simulate, you know, narrow it down to who it may be. Mm -hmm. So she was like, I, I'm definitely your cousin. And then so she was like, just give me like an hour or so. You were with me that day mm -hmm. because we were in T-Mobile getting our phones up in. Yeah. So she calls me back. She was like, send me pictures, send me this, send me that. And then when I sent her pictures of me, she was like, you look just like my brother, which was the guy who I originally talked to. Mm -hmm. And from seeing his, his current pictures, I was like, I didn't. But when I looked at our childhood pictures, most definitely. So I was like, oh, okay, so this is interesting. She was like, okay, send me a picture of any picture of your father that you have. The mm -hmm. only picture I had of my father, he was like 20-something at like a, a club or cabaret. Yeah. So I sent her that. She freaked out. She was like, I know who he is. I'm going to contact with him with you. But she was like, first, I want to know, what is your motive for getting in contact with him? Mm -hmm. So I told her or whatever. It wasn't... You want a child's for? I didn't want it. <laughs> I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. My mama might want it. Oh, Lord. Okay. But I didn't want it. Lord. You know. But, so, I told her. She connected us. And, um, it was him. Um, long story short, it was him. We talked. And I didn't blame him for anything. I didn't mm -hmm. ask questions. I didn't have an attitude with him. I didn't feel in a certain type of way. But then, certain things that I heard was kind of true. So, it was like, okay. Still pushed through. Still talked to him. Mm -hmm. Then I found out that I had a sister who's you know, in her 20s, and her and I connected and talked and, you know, shared stories, and it was so similar. But the only difference is she kept contact with him because now it's a cell phone era. When I was coming up, it was mm -hmm. no cell phone. Right. So if he supposedly called the house phone, it wasn't an answer to call mm -hmm. because of that. But, you know, so, but yeah. Interesting. So you found a sister. As you know, I found... A lot of sisters. Baby. I have a lot of work. <laughs> five sisters yeah. from my biological mother's side. Um, another sister on my biological father's yes. side. Yes, 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 yes. And a brother. And then, of course, I grew up with my sister in Seattle. Yeah. So, I got a whole lot of siblings. Yes. Uh, and that was kind of interesting to adjust to because... Um, and you're like the oldest out of all biological. Yes, yes. Sister that I was raised with, she's older than me. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, six years older than me. So, yeah. that was kind of cool. But then, like, for me to be the older brother of all the rest of these siblings, I'm like... Ooh, okay. Yeah. But it's been fun. Yeah. It has been fun. Um, so let me ask you, when you did Ancestry DNA, mm -hmm. like what was where what was your reaction? Like what were you looking to Well uh, you know, you encouraged me to do the test and so like when I did it I didn't think I don't think that I had any like true motives. I was just mm -hmm. doing it because I'm like, oh it's just something to do. Mm -hmm. 
Because in my mind, I was like, whoever I find, I'm not going to know these people anyway. Right. So, right, right, right. you know, I was mainly doing this thing like, hmm, like I'm a little lighter skin. I mean, you're really light, but I'm like a little lighter skin too. So I was like, ooh, maybe I'm like 75% really right. like, you know, England, Scotland. So to that see, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was like really fascinating for me. But... Um, I guess just it led into all those other discoveries, which is cool because now I have all this additional family yes. and it kind of shows you how small the world is. That's why I was like, let me uh, type your name in the test, make sure we ain't related. You know, people always will say that. They were like, you need to know where you come from just in case you ain't dating mm -hmm. or sleeping with somebody that's your cousin or somebody like that. They always right. will say that. So, yeah. It, and then I'm from Seattle and like um, when I moved to the South, people are like, Seattle? There's black people in Seattle? Okay. Right. So it's like, and now when I look back, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. We have large families in Seattle, and I feel like we all are somewhat connected at some point. So like my cousin down here, he has a large, a huge family. My side of the family is huge. And that's how we were cousins. But I don't know if I told you, but the, the way we found out that we were cousins, we both had like friends that were like mutual friends. Mm -hmm. And so we were just hanging out in a group setting. And my dad knows everybody. So he was like, oh, that's your cousin. This is your cousin, this is your cousin. So I've always heard names growing up. And we were hanging out one day and we were talking. And I said, you know, what's your name? He said, Ernest. And I said, oh, <laughs> that's cool. I was like, I got a cousin named Ernest. Mm -hmm. And he was like, really, what's his last name? And I was like, oh, I think his name's last name is Walker. And he was like, Fool, that's me. I am. And I was like, <laughs> what? I had not seen him in years. Like, I'm talking about, when I say years, he's older than me. So I was like in elementary school. Yeah, yeah. And his sister used to be the uh, secretary at my elementary school. So that's how like I got to know them. Because yeah. my dad was like, that's your cousin that works in the uh, office. And I'm like, yeah. oh, cool. Yay, yay. So, yeah. Um, the world is very, very small. Yes, and I agree with the world is small because when I started connecting with people on my father's side, I realized that, you know, I had a first cousin from his brother, you mm -hmm. know, whatever, but we were in the same high school at the same time, walking the same halls, everything. Didn't even know that we were cousins because I did not know <laughs> my background and she didn't know because... That's know, crazy. You know. So when we connected, she was like, oh, what high school did you go to? And I was like, oh, such and such. She was like, me too. And I, then we started talking and reminiscing, mm -hmm. looking through yearbooks and realized, like, yeah. Really? So get like, this. Senior year, my senior year in high school, my dad is driving me to a school in his truck. And we're going up the hill to go to school. He's honking on, doo, 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 waving. He's waving at this girl. And I'm like, why are you waving at her? Like, I've known this girl since um, maybe the sixth grade because we went to middle school together. Anyway, um, I'm like, why are you waving at her? Like, how are you? And he's like, that's your cousin. And I'm like, what? Let me tell you how she's my cousin, which is crazy. My grandmother and her grandmother were sisters. I would always go to her grandmother's house. And so I'm like, how did all of these years... How did that happen where I never saw her right. at, or never saw a picture? It was crazy. So I found that out my senior year too. Yeah. Which was super, super crazy. Yeah. But I got another question for you sure. regarding like, you know, DNA and all that great stuff. So how do you feel about um, the accusations that China or different countries are trying to buy our DNA? Because I think that's why some people don't want to do mm -hmm. DNA test because they're like, nope, you do it, you send your information in, it's going to be in these files, these computer files, and then these other countries are trying to, like, buy it. Well, see, I haven't heard that. When you told mm -hmm. me that earlier, I was like, I haven't heard that. But now it makes sense, and it makes sense, and I say that because you should always be fire pen because when you said that, it took me back to certain things mm -hmm. that when I sign up for certain things, you have to check the box, do not sell my info. So maybe yeah. Ancestry does have that option of do not sell my info, but we overlook it and we're not reading thoroughly. Yeah. Because we're only looking for what we're looking for instead of reading the fine print of things. I don't know. I didn't see a box. Um, and I probably, you know, uh, with everything, if right. something comes in the mail and I got to put it together, I don't read the directions. Right. I just start putting it together right. and I'm like, this part probably goes here. All of us. <laughs> all of us. So 
because they might have our information. I'm not trying to discourage anybody that sure. wants to get a test because I still think that y'all should get a test if you want to do it. But, oh no. And um, we'll look more into that yeah. in that website yeah. because yeah. that was interesting. I know a few friends that are like, I'm not doing that because they're going to sell your information to China. And I'm like, oh lord. But that's um, always something. I'm not going to do that because they're going to do this, they're going to do that with anything. Mm-hmm. Even with... <laughs> You inhale wrong. Oh, you're inhaling. The air's polluted. It's like you never wet. So. <laughs> and everything is bad for you. Yeah. Everything is bad for you. Um, also, you probably do know this because we've seen commercials, but they have these other tests, mm-hmm. and it's through you know the same companies mm-hmm. or whatever where you can test health mm-hmm. or you know allergies and. I think they have one for your pets, too. Oh, and I geez. may be going crazy. Maybe I had a dream about that. I have no idea. But I swear they have one for your pets. I don't know. So how would you <laughs> test them? Do you have to prick them? Like they? I don't, I don't know. I could be making that up. But also, I am pretty certain that there's something on there for pets. But anyway, back to the, uh, the one for health. Yeah, yeah. I think that that is super important because... Me growing up, I go to the doctor, mm-hmm. and like currently I have high blood pressure, high mm-hmm. cholesterol, yay, all that great stuff. And the doctor would say, okay, well, does this run in your family? Right. I don't know because of, you know. You didn't know. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't know. Uh, kind of still don't oh, know. Gosh. I'm still. I'm trying to sway you from that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still piecing things together. But at any rate, so um, those tests are really important too. And I feel like um, I may want to do that test. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, we are African American. Yes. And at certain ages, you need to get certain tests. Yes. If yes, that's yes, a colonoscopy yes, yes. or and I tell you that. Yeah. I say you're at that age, you have to right. those exams. So. I know with my um, parents in Seattle, like my dad, on his side, I feel like cancer probably runs in the family. I've had some uncles, some aunts that all passed away from cancer. So my dad is always going to get tested. Yeah. Like He's yeah, like, yeah. it's time for my checkup. I'm going. I ain't putting it off. And um, I did try to go get a test early, but the doctor was like, no, we can't give you a test. Your insurance is not going to you know, pay for it. Da, 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 all this stuff. And I'm just like... Listen, I'd rather find out when I'm like, I tried it when I was like 35. I was like, I'd rather figure out when I'm 35 versus I got to wait till I'm 50 to go yeah. take the test or whatever. Yeah. So, um, yeah, those are good tools and resources that they have out for us now. I think the next test I may do, which the health one is great, it's, mm-hmm. it's on the same line as that. It's more of the food sensitivity. Ooh. But it's so expensive. How much is that one? That's always in the hundreds because it's from the 23 and Me. Okay, okay. And it's always in the hundreds, and it's like, and then the way you have to take the test is a little different, because um, uh, you got to prick yourself to send in the right. blood sample. Yeah, so for those of y'all out there listening or watching, there's different companies. So, like we said, we went through Ancestry DNA, yes. but there's, what, 23andMe, yeah. and there's MyHeritage, and all these different companies that okay. you can go through. And I'm pretty sure they're both pretty accurate. Whatever your budget can allow, mm-hmm. then go for it. Um, if you save up and get your ancestry or put that on your wish list for someone to get you for a gift for a birthday or something then yeah for it. catch one of themselves yeah because yeah. every holiday i'm yeah. talking about mother's day father's <laughs> okay. day okay. easter they yes. yeah and it's usually what like 59 dollars 49.99 about 59.99 mm-hmm. something like that yeah so, stuff too. not too bad yeah um so are you currently still looking for family are you connecting with people like how's that going um, currently still looking. Um, honestly, no. And I'm not going to say no because I found what mm-hmm. I was looking for. I'm only saying no because talking through them, I'm meeting more people. So I don't really have to dig that deep on, yeah. on there anymore mm-hmm. because they'll lead me to whoever else. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like for me, I'm still like searching because I'm building like a, a biological family tree to see like who's who and then I have like basically when people take a test you're only gonna match with people that have taken a DNA test yeah yeah, yeah. so it updates and so I think this last like last month or something like that it updated and then I had another close match so I'm always curious and yeah. I'm just like wait a minute who is this person how are they related I found a cousin in St. Louis which I have, like, on my biological mom's side, a whole bunch of family yeah. in St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 
And she was telling me, oh my God, we're cousins, yeah, but we're double kin. But I'm like, I don't know. I need to Google it. gotta look at that up. I need to Google it. But, like, if I gotta take a stab at it, double kin, that sounds like, well, related by, like, a grandfather and maybe, like, someone on the other side of her family. So, like, her mother's side and her father's side or something. I don't know. I could be making that up. But we can learn together. Yeah, we can research sure. that because she keeps saying we're double kin. And I'm just like, uh -huh, okay, okay, awesome. Okay. And I don't know what that means. I need to write that down. Yeah, so but it makes up. me. It makes it sound like we more related than other people. I don't know. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. With the whole ancestry, like I definitely wanted you to do it with me. Like, mm -hmm. just because why not? Let's do it together. Let's find our results together. We both were looking for biological family. Mm -hmm. So it's like it only makes sense. And then like. You can help me, I can help you. It just so happened you happen to... The process happened for you much faster than it happened for me, which the whole time, the guy, my cousin, was sitting there. Mm -hmm. I just didn't reach out because whatever. But yeah. yeah. And let me explain something. So I was like the, the one to go to for Ancestry because he would like have a whole binder full of like notes and family trees. Lips and and he needs to partnership with Ancestry DNA. And, <laughs> Yeah. Right. No, because I feel like, you know, thanks to Facebook, social media, you know, Instagram and all that stuff, it's like I'm looking up some of these matches that are on Ancestry and it's like the first thing I'm doing is, bam, are they on Facebook? So that's linking me to different people yeah. and it's cool. I feel like... And he'd be so cool. in-depth with it. Like, it's like, I'm, I'm a like little exaggerating, huh? but it's like funny because he'll write it down. He'll be like, oh, because... They slept with them in April and they had her in April her face is that way. It's like he gets in depth with it, like detail. Like so yeah. It's like a Bible. There's like in the beginning like in the beginning of the Bible, like you read and it says, you know, in the beginning God created the heavens and earth and da, 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 all this stuff. And then it goes into like oh, it's pages of names. And it's like and Abraham married so and so and they had this many kids. And these kids had these kids, and these kids had, and it's like, kind of boring. But it's the same thing. So when I'm on Ancestry, I'm like, okay, look. So this person is married to that person. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really fascinating to me. And you can go back. So there are pictures from, like, my great, great, mm -hmm. great grandparents who were probably like slaves or and what? also birth certificates, right? Yeah, was it someone birth certificate or something like that? Now you can um, so basically, was it? You could. I think there are records on there. Records, birth certificates, yeah, say records, yeah. Uh, marriage license, definitely death certificates. Yeah. If someone has passed away, but you gotta subscribe and you gotta pay for that extra stuff. But it's worth it though. It is. It. That is how patient. I found extra information yeah. out. Um, because I did the free trial and then I canceled. <laughs> it's like we all do. It was something I was going to say to you along the line of that. Oh, yeah, it's like for someone who's so private, it's like, and you be so detailed and figure stuff mm -hmm. out, it's just like, jeez. Yeah, but you know, I mean, you did your own thing. I didn't have to really help you research or anything like that, but I still think that you should, like, you know, get on there, see if anybody sent you messages. No, I um, do check daily. Yeah. Like, I do check. I just haven't, like, I'm, I'm, my whole purpose was to find him, mm -hmm. and I did. So That's like, good. and then like I said, cousins along the way coming out, and you know, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm meeting them, and I'm I'm you know, so yeah. and I'm all the way on the west coast, and they're still on the east coast, so it's like I haven't. Been able to and but them, so. you might have some family in LA over here, yeah, yeah. or Those. you know, some of these northern states, Arizona, Nevada, yeah. you never know. Um, so I think this should be a part two, only because I think this ancestry DNA led to so much more for you yes um, I think that should be a part two to this because yeah and we so might have more. to bring back some details because we was talking about double kin right we still have the old you guys that, explanations yeah, yeah. because um, that's, we still haven't described the numbers and we're going to define CM for you exactly um, so yeah there's a lot of stuff that we're missing we know yeah we got you um I like your shirt though you do Yes. I like it too. I'm really cute with this shirt. If you're listening and, on the shirt. and you cannot see, we have a shirt on that says Truth Be Told. Hashtag Truth Be Told. And um, we just got these made. I think they're pretty cool. Sporting these out. 
Yes. Definitely want you guys to share this podcast. Yes. If you're watching the video, please like and subscribe. Yes. We'll put a little thing right down in here or up here or over here in the corner. <laughs> Whatever. Like and subscribe yes. because we are new to this and we want to hear from you. What do y'all want to hear? What do y'all want to talk about? We want to engage with you all. And, like we promised, we're going to have people join us. Yeah. But we want you to get to know us. A little bit. I agree. A little, little bit. I agree. Yes. I agree. Um, but, yeah, like this shirt, is, it's one of our creations. Yeah. And, um, you know, if y'all like it, maybe we can come out with a little shirty shirt. I think we should do like a y'all. limited edition. Like, yeah. Just, we'll talk about it. But yeah, yes. I think we should. You guys I can like always go to brownboydesigns.com to get your Black Lives Matter t-shirts. And what else is on there? Peace and love hoodies. Peace and love hoodies. Um, Black Lives Matter masks. We have a limited um, supply of those masks. Yeah. I think we have maybe like six of the black and six of the white. Mm -hmm. um, we have books and music and more books to come. We do. We only got a couple minutes left, but what's yeah. this book that you just came out uh, with? My new book is called Pages Out of My Journal. It's just like what the title says. It's Pages Out of My mm -hmm. Journal. Like things I've been going through, have went through, friends have went through. And it's just talking about it. Just being real raw and uncut with it. Like just real stuff. Nice. Nothing's made up. Everything is real. So, you know. Yes. Yes. So it's available the, now on the website. Which yes. Is Brown Boy Designs. Dot com. That's the only yes. place that you can get that book, right? The only place. I'm selling it strictly on what I own. Awesome. So, yeah. And then we got a special announcement coming up soon because yours truly. Don't tell them yet. It's supposed to be a special yeah, announcement. Yeah, well, it's a special announcement. But yours truly has something coming out. Yes. So you guys got to like stay connected with us so you can get all these great um projects that we're doing we want to support you all too so if you have a website or you have a product or something like that you know we'd love for y'all to send us something we'll yes. test it out we can push we can support each other yes and we each also have other. shows on youtube like this is the only show we have shows on youtube he has his um documentary reaction video to a show that he was on that's going to be on the next episode which is why i said we should make this part two um so yeah we're yes. more than just basic <laughs> okay we have one minute well let's see let's see what was the purpose for you doing this podcast like what is your purpose for this podcast because i get asked that question a lot when i do stuff like what is your purpose for doing it the person of like just a podcast in general or like this topic this just this platform what, what was the purpose for you creating it well, first of all, we're still in the middle of this pandemic. Yes. So we need to be doing something productive with yes. our lives. Period. And we own so much equipment <laughs> and everything. Why not have the studio and do stuff? And, right. And I love radio. I love to talk. I mean, I don't talk unless I have something to talk about. I mean, I mean, honestly, I don't. I'm just like. And everybody just needs something to do. Like, I yeah. mean, if it's you know writing a book or like. I think the thing about the both of us is we like to do multiple things. So yes. it's like we ain't trying to reach the whole world. I mean, if we do, that's amazing. Yes. But there are people out there that may want to hear some of the things we're talking about yes. or read some of the books. Yes. So tune in next week and we'll give you more on who Mike and Terrell is. And truth be told, we'll see is you guys next week. Are? R, you see, you see, you see, I'm just asking see, a question. R, the editor. Just asking a question. R. We'll catch him slipping next who time. Who we is. Who we are. Sorry. When I'm talking Ebonics, I do it on purpose, though. Sometimes. You got, sometimes you got to talk in Ebonics so people can just understand where you're coming from. Sure. You know You'll catch him slipping soon. Trust me. You, you won't. only hold that in for some I'm very, very proper. Oh, yeah, he is from Scotland. I mean, you know. 1% Scotland. 1%. Thank you very much. Yes. So we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. Thank so you. Mike as well. Truth be told. Like and subscribe. Peace.